Rush will be missed. Now on to other news. Mayor Bill de Blasio is facing fresh criticism tonight for touting New York City's arts and culture scene as residents and business owners struggle under the weight of a nearly full year of pandemic restrictions. Meanwhile, it looks like major trouble is brewing for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo tonight. The FBI and U.S. Attorney in Brooklyn are reportedly looking into his administration's handling of COVID-19 in nursing homes. Correspondent Aisha Hosni shows us how Cuomo is now lashing out under mounting pressure. Good evening, Aisha. Good evening to you, Mike. Yes, a lot to get to here in the state of New York. Let's start with that breaking news. Multiple news outlets reporting tonight that the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office in Brooklyn have launched that investigation into Governor Cuomo's administration and his uh, administration's handling of the nursing home crisis. The governor's senior advisor telling Fox Digital tonight that the DOJ has been looking into this matter for months now, but they have been cooperating with the DOJ, but Fox News cannot independently verify tonight whether this is one and the same, whether this is the same thing as that DOJ probe that launched back in August. What we can tell you tonight is that there is an incredibly ugly fight taking place between the governor and members of his own party in public view. My office, uh, more than me, has had a, a long and hostile relationship with Assemblyman Ron Ken. The gloves are off as New York Governor Andrew Cuomo goes after State Assemblyman Ron Kim, the governor's loudest Democrat critic of the nursing home scandal. Kim is one of nine Democrats accusing the governor of obstruction of justice, even trying to strip him of his emergency powers after his top aide revealed the administration delayed the release of nursing home data. In a telephone call with reporters today, Cuomo fired back, claiming he and Kim have had a long and hostile relationship, dragging back up a 2015 spat, accusing Kim of flipping his support on a bill to protect nail salon workers when business owners protested, and then engaging in pay to play. Raised money from those business owners and continues to. And I believe uh, it was unethical, if not illegal. But Kim tells the New York Post the governor's attacks started last week with a threatening phone call in which he said, you will be destroyed and you have not seen my wrath. Kim says the governor told him to write a statement in support of his top aide, adding, I can tell the whole world what a bad person you are and you will be finished. Cuomo apparently so mad, Kim tells the Post his wife could hear him yelling through the phone. Now, the governor's senior advisor says that Kim is lying about those quotes and that he lacks credibility. By the way, Mike, Senators Ted Cruz, Lindsey Graham, Chuck Grassley, and six other U.S. senators have sent over a letter to the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee basically asking to open an investigation into Governor Cuomo's administration and to start schedule, he scheduling hearings right now. Mike? We'll see where that goes. Aisha Hosni, live in New York City. Aisha, thanks.